Puntland's Minister of Information, Mohamed Aidid Dirir, opposed the decision of the regional parliament to extend its mandate by one year on Thursday and asserted that the parliament does not have the power to block the government. Minister Dirir, a close cabinet member to President Saeed Abdullahi Deni, described the parliament's decision as illegal. He emphasized that the president has already rejected the decision made by the SSC Katumo Traditional Elders Committee stating that the traditional elders do not have the power to make political decisions. Puntland Regional State voted to extend its term by one year following a decision from the SSC Katumo Traditional Committee regarding the election dispute. The committee, working to resolve the dis election dispute, proposed that the current parliament members would elect the president and vice president. Subsequently, they would plan for a new parliamentary election using the one-person, one-vote election model 12 months later. During Thursday's parliamentary session, lawmakers endorsed the decision of, uh, of the elders, asserting that they took charge of the decision on electoral issues. The Speaker of Parliament, Abdrashid Yusuf Jibril, announced that he would appoint the committee to elect the president and vice president in the next few hours. On Wednesday, the president of the Puntland state, Saeed Abdullahi Deni, rolled back plans to hold one year's parliamentary polls via a one-person, one-vote system. Instead, he opted to continue with a complex plan, plan-based ballot. In many, the oil-rich region staged its first direct polls in more than half a century during local council elections, a move hailed by international partners as historic. At the time, Opposition politicians accused Puntland President Saeed Abdullah Deni of manipulating the election procedure and seeking to amend the constitution to enable him to extend his mandate, which will end in January. Deni said late Wednesday that parliamentary elections would be held on January 8th with clan representatives electing 66 MPs.